Wrapped Bitcoin officially has a home here on Cardano thanks to Aneta BTC. And as a part of today's video, I want to break down exactly how you guys in the community can begin testing on the pre-prod testnet. What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome back to the official Dapp Central YouTube channel. My name is Fareed, and in today's video, I'm super fired up to share here with you guys that we now have the ability to mint or wrap and unwrap Bitcoin, not only on Cardano, but as well as on the Ergo networks. Now, if it's your first time hearing about Aneta BTC, they're going to be a protocol, as I mentioned, allowing for users to wrap and unwrap Bitcoin with a click of a few buttons. They're going to be taking a secure and private approach using a research driven method. That said, as a part of today's video, what I want to do is talk to you guys about how you guys can get access to a Bitcoin wallet, jump on the Bitcoin testnet, as well as actually get access to test Bitcoin. And then once we have that, we're going to take a look at the Aneta BTC protocol, connect our wallet, and then actually walk through the process of making a transaction in which we'll be wrapping Bitcoin and then doing the opposite, unwrapping our assets. That said, if it's your first time stopping by here on the channel, my goal is to provide you guys in the community here with the latest news tutorials and reviews. If you guys find this particular video to be helpful or insightful in any way, shape or form, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me about anything that we're going to be chatting about today, then make sure to leave a comment down below. In closing, I am a single stake pool operator operating the official DAP Central stake pool. If you want to support me here on my mission to educate the Barter Cardano community, then consider delegating with the official DAP Central stake pool which is take pool ticker DAPP. Again, I appreciate you guys showing me all of the support throughout the last couple of months. Jumping back over into the official website here for Aneta BTC, if you guys want to get access to their official test net, you can head over to app.anetabtc.io. Now, a few things to keep in mind here before we jump into this tutorial is that they're not currently live on the main net. So once you access the website, you can confirm which network you're on by looking here at the left hand corner. So right now, as you guys can see, I am currently on the test net and it's actually going to be the pre prod test net. And I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get connected to that test net here in just a moment. Now, right below that, we've got the bridge option, which is what we're going to be using today in order to wrap and unwrap our Bitcoin. If you want to leave some feedback, you can do that here using this option. And then if you want the official documentation surrounding how this protocol works, they do have a link to that as well. So once we get here, you will notice that right now I'm connected to the Cardano testnet. They also have an Ergo testnet, but for now, we're going to be focusing strictly on Cardano. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and actually make sure we're on the pre-prod testnet before we connect our wallet. So I've got my NAMI wallet here that I'm currently using. And as you guys can see, I'm already connected to the pre-prod testnet. And I've already walked through the process of actually creating some CBTC already. So keep that in mind. This is going to be my second transaction here using the Aneta BTC protocol. That said, in order to actually connect to the pre-prod testnet, you're going to click on your icon here, go down to settings and then select network. And instead of actually using mainnet, all you need to do is go ahead and select pre-prod. So I've already done that. I'm gonna jump back over here and we're gonna go ahead and just close out of our wallet. Now we're gonna to connect to the actual uh, protocol. So I'm just gonna click on connect wallet. And by default, we can see that they now support the eternal wallet, NAMI, Jiro, and the Lace wallet. So three pretty common wallets here within the Cardano ecosystem. If you guys have not heard of these, I'd be highly surprised, but you can quickly go ahead and connect your wallet by selecting either of these icons. So as soon as I do that, you can now see that my address is now listed here. So we've now connected to the official protocol. Now, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get access to the Moonshine wallet, which is going to be a Bitcoin wallet, allowing for us to wrap and unwrap our official Bitcoin on the test net as well. So I'm going to pull up the screen here, and this is going to be the Google Play Store for the Moonshine wallet. Now, what I'm going to do is jump over into my phone here in just a second, showing you guys how to actually get access to this app if you're using Apple or iOS. All right. So as you guys can now see here, I am taking a look at my phone and I've currently accessed the Apple Play Store. From here, all I need to do is type in the Moonshine Wallet and I should be able to find it. And once you do, you can go ahead and select it and I've already got it installed, um, but the open button would actually be the install or the download button. And once you download that, you can go ahead and actually open the app. So I'm going to quickly open up the Moonshine Wallet here. And as you guys can see, I've got about $6 worth of Bitcoin. Now I'm currently on the test net. And in order for you guys to get access to the test net, you have to click on this settings icon here at the very top right hand corner. 
you can scroll down and there's going to be this toggle here for en enabling the test net. So you're going to want to make sure that that's currently selected. And then once you go back here, you can tap on the actual dollar amount of Bitcoin that you have, and then you can quickly select the Bitcoin test net. So that's how to, you can get access to not only the Moonshine wallet, but actually connect to the test net. And once we've done that, you're going to want to head over to the Bitcoin faucet website. So I've already gotten my receiving address, but in order to get that, I can just click on receive here and I can just copy this address listed there. So once that is copied over, you can now head over onto the official Bitcoin testnet faucet in order to begin receiving Bitcoin. So I'm going to share my other screen here with you guys. And all we're going to do is refresh the Bitcoin faucet here and confirm that we can actually receive our Bitcoin. So the official website to receive the test Bitcoin is going to be bitcoinfaucet.uo1.net. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and actually leave the link to this down in the um, description below, but it's a pretty simple process. All you need to do is go ahead and copy the testnet address that we just had. And from there, you're just going to go ahead and actually paste it here directly on this website. Now, one thing to note is that you can only receive a certain amount of Bitcoin from the testnet faucet every hour. So as you guys can see here, I've already reached my limit when it comes to this last hour. So what I'm going to do is take a quick break here. And as soon as I have the ability to um, receive additional Bitcoin, I'm going to fire the recording back up here and show you guys what that looks like. All right, we are now back and I have the ability to mint additional Bitcoin tokens. Again, keep in mind that this is on the Bitcoin testnet. So I can just quickly paste my testnet address here and I can specify exactly how much of the Bitcoin um, I actually want to receive at my wallet. Keep in mind that because it's a testnet faucet, there is a certain limit in terms of how much test Bitcoin you can actually receive. So I've gone ahead and supplied the maximum amount. And now that I've done that, I can just click on send testnet Bitcoins and it should begin to actually create a transaction and send those assets over into my wallet. So that is going to be the first two pieces of the process. Number one, connecting to the Aneta BTC protocol, and then number two, downloading the Moonshine wallet and actually setting it up for the testnet, as well as going through the testnet faucet process for Bitcoin. All right, so we're now jumping back over into our Moonshine wallet where we can now see that we have received the testnet Bitcoin from the faucet. If you guys recall, my balance earlier was about $6 and that has now updated to about $9. If I select the latest transaction here, I can actually see exactly how much of the testnet Bitcoin was sent from the faucet. Now that we've got the wallet topped up and ready to go, I'm going to jump back over into the official Aneta BTC application. And so what we're now going to do here is actually walk through the process of wrapping our Bitcoin, which basically is the process of sending it from our testnet wallet over to the Aneta BTC protocol. Now that we're ready to go, the first thing I need to do is provide how much of the wrapped Bitcoin token I want to receive within my Cardano wallet. So I'm going to type that value in here. And as you guys will notice, I can now see my bridge fee, which is going to be 1% of the total value of Bitcoin that I'm going to wrap. Right below that, I have the total amount in terms of CBTC that I'm going to receive within my Cardano wallet. Next, I'm going to click on wrap BTC, and I'm now going to be presented with a pop-up here, providing me with additional instructions. So it reads here, I can add my payment credentials within the message section of the Moonshine wallet before sending it as a deposit. So this is going to be the message right here that I'm going to provide within my transaction. And then right below that, I have the actual Bitcoin address that I need to send my Bitcoin to in order for this to get processed. So I'm going to switch over into my wallet now or into my phone, excuse me, and we're going to walk through that process of creating that transaction. So from the actual Moonshine wallet, I'm going to go ahead and click on send. And then within the address field, I'm going to go ahead and provide the Bitcoin address. And then within the message field, I'm going to provide the testnet address here provided as my payment credential that we just saw there from the Aneta BTC protocol. Now that I have the address as well as the optional message fields filled out, I'm going to provide exactly how much of the testnet Bitcoins I want to send over to the Aneta BTC protocol. So this amount is going to match exactly what I entered onto the protocol here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually confirm that this looks OK. So I'm going to be sending about two dollars and seventy three cents of Bitcoin. I'm going to click on send and then go ahead and actually verify this transaction and then click on send one more time. So at this point, the transaction should complete. And we're now going to jump over onto the pre-product explorer for Cardano to verify our address on there. 
Now, before we jump onto the pre-prod version of Cardano Scan to verify that our transaction has taken place on chain, I'm gonna confirm here on the Aneta BTC protocol that I've actually sent over my deposit. So I'm gonna click on that option here and I'm now presented with one last screen confirming how much BTC I've sent over and how much CBTC I plan on receiving. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out here and then jump over into the pre-prod version of Cardano Scan. Now it's been about 10 or so minutes since I've made the transaction from within the Moonshine wallet. And as you guys can see here, about five minutes ago, the transaction was verified on the Cardano blockchain. So this is the address here that I provided as a part of the description of the message. And that has actually received the CBTC amount that I sent over. If I now jump over into my NAMI wallet and I open that up, I should now be able to confirm that my CBTC balance has updated and it's now twice that it was earlier before. As I mentioned before, I did send over a little bit of CBTC in order to actually make sure that this was functioning before I shot this video and that has updated now to reflect my latest balance. That I believe is gonna take us through today's update here surrounding an edit BTC and the fact that we can now wrap and unwrap Bitcoin on Cardano. In closing here, I just wanna highlight if you want to unwrap Bitcoin or your CBTC, you can just toggle here um, this option, right? So what we just walked through was the wrap option. And if you wanna unwrap or undo that, you just need to select that option here, provide how much CBTC you wanna unwrap, and then you can provide your Bitcoin address. Once you do that, the fees will update and you'll basically just have to sign a Cardano transaction and that should take place again on chain, which should be verifiable using the um, Cardano Explorer or something like Cardano Scan. And then after a few minutes, you should receive that Bitcoin back over onto your Bitcoin wallet or the Moonshine wallet. That is going to take us through today's tutorial here surrounding how to wrap Bitcoin on Cardano and how to potentially unwrap if you're looking to do that as well. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did, please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by here on the channel and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions for me as to how to actually use this protocol or just about Cardano in general, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.